No high spots in the career of one uh, legendary rider, I suppose I can call him, ranging from the World Championships to the European Championships, the Olympic Games, the King George V Gold Cup, and just about everything else you'd care to mention. He's now decided to take a bit of a back seat, but there are some remarkable memories in the scrapbook of David Broom, OBE. Well, who is it that you voted the winner and sports new personality of 1960? It's David Broom. Ladies and gentlemen, this has put me in a bit of a spot where speaking is not one of my favourite pastimes. Now, I think it is a tremendously tense moment. The great Sun Tower has suddenly become perhaps the most important force of the show. With a new rider, David Brook, no clear rounds so far. jumps to go, the water and the poles. And a kill! I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all those people at home who've gone through all the trouble to write postcards and send them in, uh, because it would be impossible to hold such a thing as this without them. And also, a very special thank you for all those who managed to get the right name on it. Uh, <laughs> and Eddie Sharp into the group. Eddie Sharp, and he got away with it with the rustic. And he's nearly a second off as he approaches the water. Next is his strike, brilliant, then comes into the double. And he's held the through. It must be the fastest time. It must be faster than Frank Chappell's. And David, for the second time, receiver of the bronze on that great warrior, Mr. Toski. I talked to his sister Liz about this, and uh, she said he was always a natural right from day one, you know. She said, I'd be working the butt off trying to get it right, and he would just come home from school, get on his pony, and just do it. He could ride.
tried anything from day one. He had a difficult pony in Ballon Lad and he went for him. Wildfire, the horse that he shot to fame initially on, was a very difficult horse. Uh, no tricks. He just got on it and it went for him because he was such a natural horseman. He's always been a good man with a difficult horse, as well as obviously a top man with a with a top horse, which he's had plenty of. Good communicator as well, because I mean, I've seen him out the rings, uh, and you have as well, helping other people, always keen to give a little bit of advice, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's still the same now. I mean, he sits on all the main BHJA and BDF committees. He's a good committee man, David. Forthright, as he say. Um, puts his point across, but does it very, very well.